It is your Sunday morning CJ's Functional Fitness Muscle Confusion Workout. My wife won't let me say boom. Boom! I said it. <laughs> you know what? CJ again, CJ's Functional Fitness, and I have one of my favorite, favorite workout partners, my advanced level uh, trainees and clients. I call her a CJ Black Blood, if you want to call it. Uh, First Lady Yvonne. <laughs> Today, we're going to introduce you to a muscle confusion workout. Now, I promise no. Uh, bad words because she's making me better every Sunday morning before I go to church. All right, so uh, this is muscle confusing chest and tricep series And it's gonna be a little different than the norm and the goal here is to have good form The goal is to be safe, but the goal is also go to failure So your muscles are confused and fatigued so they grow later. I'll tell you a quick story um, Speaking of church uh, Hello, Antioch uh, Church of Long Beach Pastor Wayne and my Easton Cheney. Uh, I was sitting in a sermon one day and one of the more inspirational sermons of last year was uh, uh, about how my pastor told the story of how he would, he almost let go of his gardener, and I'm paraphrasing, uh, uh, for his new house. I guess the gardener was pruning, I guess you call it, he was pruning flowers. Got that right, first lady? Pruning, right? Pruning where you cut the flowers and leaves so low that the idea is for it to grow better. But I think my pastor didn't understand it at the time, so he was like, oh man, what's going on with my garden? It's a wrap. You know, but weeks later, a pastor comes out and realizes the flowers and leaves grew twice as better. It looked that much more beautiful. Well, that's the same idea. I guess he had to hire his gardener back because the gardener was right. We're going to prune our bodies. And then we prune our bodies with our workouts with muscle, with muscle confusion. We're going to prune our bodies with proper eating and cleaning. First lady's going on a cleanse. And when she comes out of that cleanse, she'll be even better flower. How much weight have you lost with me so far? 13 to 14 pounds. 13 to 14 pounds. And it took me a year to get her out of my group classes and get her in my one-on-one -on -one hand. Mm -hmm. But I want you to enjoy this chest and tricep muscle confusion workout. Enjoy. And again, as always, go see a doctor before you do any workout program. And if you don't know what to do, come see your boy CJ. Let's train. All right, part one of our workout today started with uh, battle ropes. We worked this for about 30 seconds. Uh, I call these shake the snake. See, we're shaking two snakes actually. So we're doing this for about 30 seconds. And trust me, the great thing about my workouts, they look easier than they are. Uh, within about uh, 20 seconds, your chest will be burning. Wait till we start doing this for like uh, two minutes, three minutes, all the way up to 10 minutes. It is crazy. But we're not doing that today. Today, we're doing muscle confusion. So as you can see, next up, we're doing reverse bear crawls. Great for the uh, anterior delts, triceps, and chest and core. And then we transition right into the BOSU push-up. That's kind of was the theme of the day. We're going to hit a few of those. Get to about seven, just so we're synchronized. Once we get back down, we're going to hit our truth push-ups or hand release push-ups. Do you want to call it what they call it? But I, I call it the truth because that's full body. You got to get on down there. And you know, and when, after you're finished, you got to give your partner uh, a, a little bit of uh, encouragement, a little hand slap or something, or, or nothing if you don't like it. Next, part two of our workout transits into a uh, tricep dip crossover push-up with clock spins. Anytime I can throw some MMA drills in there, I, I love doing that. Uh, quick reflexes, you know, your muscles are going to respond how you train, all right? So uh, I'm into that. So we do the crossover, spin, two tricep dips. We do that for about 30 seconds, and then uh, we mix it up. Uh, we throw our wrench in the game. We throw some muscle confusion, and then we're done. After you hear the bell, we're going to break off into troop burpees. Chest to the floor, get up, get right back down for 10. And then when you're done, oh, you'll be feeling it. You're going to be doing about three sets. Take about 45 seconds in between. And uh, you'll be doing real good on those. And then, uh, you know, if you can give your partner a little high five afterwards. Uh, go for it. Uh, bing, bing. There's a tired high five. All right, so we've entered into phase three of our workout, our final phase. Uh, we're going to do Hindo push-ups with Bosu crossovers. So we're going to do about 10 reps, but we do it kind of sneaky. We do uh, two reps of the Hindus, butt high, come down like a roller coaster, go back like a roller coaster. We're going to cross over on that Bosu with some stabilization, work on those triceps and chest, and then we're going to squeeze it out right there. Squeeze it out, chest and tricep. This is awesome. Then once we get to our last two repetitions, we're going to transition right into goblet squats. We're going to finish off strong and then give ourselves a little hand clap of appreciation for our workout together. Good job, first lady. Awesome, you don't have to be a fighter to feel like one. Let's train, you know where to find your boy for training. This is how we do. See you next Sunday. All 
right, for my newbies, don't be scared. We got something for you too. It's a slow, fun process to this level. We want you to have fun here at CJ's Functional Fitness, so let's train. Hey, there's where you can contact me. Give us a shot. We will make it better for your health. Let's train.